Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to subtract negative numbers. As you can see, we have four important things that we need to remember when subtracting negative numbers. The first thing we need to know is that you're going to change the subtraction problem into an addition problem by using the formula leave, change, change. Leave, change, change refers to leaving or changing the signs in the problem. So for example, if we had three minus negative four, you're going to leave the first part the same, you're going to change the sign here, and you're going to change the sign here. So you leave positive three, three, you change the minus to a plus, so you change that sign, and then you change the sign on negative four to positive four. So this is why it's called leave, change, change, because you leave the first part the same, you, you change the sign, and you change the sign on the last number. After doing leave, change, change, if the numbers have the same sign, you add them together and you keep the sign. If you do a positive plus a positive, your answer will be a positive. If you do a negative plus a negative, your answer will be a negative. If the numbers have different signs, you will subtract their absolute values. So that's when they have different signs. And remember, absolute value is the distance from zero. So it will always be positive. When you subtract, you'll subtract the positive numbers because distance has to be positive. Or if they have different signs, your answer will have the same sign as the larger number. Now you will notice step three and step four are the same exact rules for adding negative numbers. And the reason for that is because once you do leave change change, you are changing the subtraction problem into an addition problem. And once it's an addition problem, you'll follow the rules for adding negative numbers. So in a way, if you already know how to add negative numbers, you're already pretty good at subtracting negative numbers. You just have an extra step or two. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's get to work and get started on our first practice problem on subtracting negative numbers. This problem gives us 1 minus negative 5. Now we know the rule is to leave, change, change. So I'm going to leave the sign on the 1 the same. I'm going to change the middle into a plus. So we're going to change this into a plus. And then I'm going to change the negative 5 into a positive 5. So we left 1 the same. We changed the minus to a positive, And we changed the negative 5 into a positive 5. Now I'm going to rewrite this just so it's a little bit easier to see. So we have 1 plus, And then now this is a positive 5 or just 5. Now we have 1 plus 5. Both of these are positive. But you just add them together and keep the sign. So 1 plus 5 is 6. This is a positive 1 and a positive 5. So our answer is going to be a positive 6. Obviously 1 plus 5 is 6. And that's going to be your solution to this first problem. Moving on to our second problem. This problem gives us negative 3 minus negative 8. Now again we're going to do leave, change, change. Because we're subtracting two negative numbers together. So we're going to leave this the same. So this is negative 3. That stays negative 3. We change this minus into a plus. So that turns into a plus. And we change this negative 8 into a positive 8. So we did leave, change, change. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. So negative 3 plus positive 8 or just plus 8. Now when you're adding two numbers that have different signs, you actually subtract them and keep the sign of the larger number. So we're going to do the absolute value of 3 minus 8 because in order to add two numbers with different signs, you subtract them with the absolute value. After we do this, we have 3 minus 8. Well, that's negative 5. And then the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. Now the sign on your answer is going to match whichever number is larger. We have a negative 3 and a positive 8. Well, obviously 8 is larger than 3 and 8 is positive, which means our answer is also going to be positive. So this is going to be a positive 5 as our solution to this subtracting negative numbers problem. Finally, our last practice problem gives us negative 4 minus 1. So we have to do leave, change, change, because we're subtracting negative numbers. So we're going to leave this 4 the same. This, this minus is going to turn into a positive, so it's going to be a plus, And this positive 1 is going to turn into a negative 1. 
I left the negative 4 the same, I changed the minus to a positive, and I changed the positive to a negative. So we did leave, change, change. I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 4 plus negative 1 now. Now we're adding two negative numbers together, and they both have the same sign. So this time they're both negative. That means you can add the two numbers together and keep the sign on the number. So we're just going to add 4 plus 1 and 4 plus 1 is 5, but we have to keep the sign on the numbers. And in this case, both of these numbers are negative, which means our answer is also negative. So for negative 4 plus negative 1, we just turned it into 4 plus 1 because they have the same sign, which is 5, and then we had to keep that sign, which is negative. So our final answer is going to be negative 5. And if you want to do some more practice on subtracting negative numbers, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to do our free free practice worksheet or take a free practice quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!